Hey guys, this is Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone that's been um, watching my first two videos. I know I've been kind of gone. I've just been super busy. Um, the reason I'm posting a lot of skincare stuff because I'm actually starting a skincare series. I'm doing the Skincare Sunday series. I'm doing like a miscellaneous Wednesday or miscellaneous Thursday. It just depends how busy I am and then I'm gonna do a fashion Friday series so I am actually you know posting some videos I'm gonna post this video tonight for skincare Sunday and then post another video um, on Wednesday so I want to go over some skincare stuff today again um, today well actually this month excuse me this month is not only National Domestic Violence Month it is also National Breast Care Breast Cancer Awareness Month is also National um, Eczema Awareness Month. So three very important months in my opinion. And today I wanted to talk about my favorite skincare um, products for facial though. Facial cleansers. So I'm going to go over some facial cleansers that I personally like. Um, I only have four because I've only tried four that I like. I have two today. The other two I've tried before and used up. And I will purchase again because I really did like them. Um, actually... I think I do have one. Give me one second. Okay, yes, I do have one here. So I have, I have three. Three. So the first one I wanted to go over um, is the La Roche Hydrating um, Cleanser or the La Roche Pose Cleanser. Um, I've never bought it before, but I got it as a sample in a Glossy Box. Was it Glossy Box? It was either Glossy Box or Boxy Charm. I'm pretty sure it was a Glossy Box because I only did Boxy Charm once and I did not like it. But this cleanser is amazing um, for sensitive skin, dry skin. And I honestly think it's really good for people with eczema or psoriasis. Um, the ingredients and how gentle it is. So I did actually take notes because um, I don't know none of this by heart. <laughs> um, also, I do want to clarify, I'm not a dermatologist. I am not an esthetician. So take this with a grain of salt this is what works for my skin and I just wanted to show recommendations that are somewhat affordable and can possibly help other people as well um so the La Roche hydrating cleanser um it, according to their website it is gentle and I can't agree on that it is very very gentle um it leaves the skin feeling clean but not greasy that is also valid um I hate the fact that a lot of people a lot of companies excuse me think because we have dry skin that we want to feel greasy. No, we just want to feel hydrated and plump. But we don't like the greasy feeling. I don't want to walk out feeling like, you know, fried chicken. That's just not cool. And it is hot in here. So, take out my... Sorry. Being real is hot. Thank you. <laughs> my I got this at Afro Punk in Atlanta last year, so... Um, loose skin feeling clean but not greasy, 100% true. Um, it maintains a healthy skin barrier, which is also true with the ingredients, and I will go on over that as well. Um, it can remove makeup. Um, I still double cleanse. I still, if I am wearing makeup, I still do the two step cleansing process, but it does remove makeup really well. Um, it has ceramide 3 in it. Ceramides are really essential for um, just maintaining a healthy skin barrier and keeping hydration in your body for water loss. Um, so that's very essential for anybody, for any skin type, especially for people with dry or dehydrated skin. Um, it also has niacinamide. Um, niacinamide is very good for all skin types. Um, it's good it's pretty much good to maintain a healthy skin barrier. What it does, it helps uh, prevent, excuse me, protect your skin from like the pollution in the air outside, um, aging skin, uneven skin, dullness in the skin, um, and then it also has glycerin. Everyone knows what glycerin is good for, for your hair and skin. Um, and I do believe, even though this is not improved by the National Eczema Association, with the ingredients and how gentle it is, I think it is actually a winner. And it is not super, like, cheap, but it's not super affordable either. Um, you can buy it on their website. you pretty sure you can buy it on um, Amazon. And I, it is in Target. It's $14.99, which is $15. So I will leave the link in the description box if you're interested in that one. The next one that I have 
is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I don't have that one with me. I've used Cetaphil in the past, like years ago. Um, I did like it. Um, and it is it is definitely gentle. One thing I love about the Cetaphil um, Daily Facial Cleanser, it is good for all skin types, whether you have oily skin, dehydrated skin, dry skin, normal skin. Um, I love the fact that it's very affordable. Um, it is dermatology attested. So dermatologists have tested, it is proven. Um, also the fact that it won't clog or strip the skin. So it won't clog pores, it won't strip the skin. Um, it's available in, mul in multiple sizes. So if you're like going on vacation, um, you can get like a two ounce bottle, a five ounce. Um, so I really do like that as well. Um, it moisturizes without the greasy, greasy feeling. Um, and like I said, it's already, um, it's affordable, but it's very accessible. It's sold at Rite Aid, Target, Walgreens, Walmart, um, Dollar General, I believe has it as well. Um, and it's unscented, which is a really big deal for people with sensitive skin. Because a lot of people with sensitive skin or eczema, um, can't use stuff with fragrance or perfume or parfum. However, they pronounce it nowadays for skincare. <laughs> um, I know there's two different ones. Um, so I really do like that one as well. And it was actually the Allure Magazine Reader's Choice winner for 2017. So that's just really big that readers are also liking this as well. So it's really good for dry skin, um, really easily accessible. Um, and I believe it also has a low pH, which I will talk about that in another video on how important it is to have like balanced pH in your skincare for anybody, for any skin type, but really, really good. Um, a next one that I personally have that I use, it is the Simple Micellar Water, cleansing water, um, is for dehydrated and dry skin. Um, the reason I like this one is multi-use. Um, you can use it to remove makeup, you can use it as a cleanser. Um, I actually use this as my morning cleanser. I uh, My morning routine is very simple um, compared to my nighttime routine. Um, I pour this in a cotton pad, um, swipe around my face, do the same thing with my toner, um, and that's it. Um, I might use like a facial scrub in the morning. It has to be a very gentle one, just depending on what my skin needs. Um, but I do love this one. I love this one because it has um, minerals and plant extract that is good for um, skin. Um, no artificial colors, no harsh chemicals, no perfume. It's unscented, there's no dyes. Um, it also has a gritting, it's like lat um, lattistic acid and glycerin, which is humectic, as we all know. So dry skin, sensitive skin, eczema skin, we need those humectants um, to keep our skin plump, to keep our skin hydrated. Um, and lat lattistic acid is also really good for dull skin as well. So I use this in the morning. Um, and I also use this to remove eye makeup as well. If I run out of my oil cleanser for every reason, uh, to remove my makeup, then I'm using this. Um, and also it's a big bottle um, and it goes a long way. It's affordable and it's easily accessible. It's sold in drug stores like Walgreens, Target, you know, Rite Aid, um, places like that. So really, really love this. Um, so yeah, just, I love it. Uh, my favorite one of all though, besides the um, besides the Pose one, I really like the Pose one, I can't lie. Um, I got that, like I said, I got that as a sample. But my favorite one I've been using for years, it replaced Cetaphil for me, it replaced all my, um, all my cleansers basically. And my dermatologist that I used to go to, um, which I need to start going back, <laughs> um, told me to get this one. And this is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. This is not a stranger. I've seen this around YouTube. People have talked about this. Um, this, to me, is the best cleanser for normal to dry skin, hands down. First of all, it's affordable. It's less than 15 bucks. It's sold at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, any type of drugstore. Um, I believe it's also sold at places like Ulta too, so you can really get it anywhere. I think the only place I've never seen it is Sephora. Um, what I also love about this, it is actually approved by the National Eczema Association on their website. It is actually listed as one of their best cleansers for our skin type. Um, I also like it that it does not call pores. Yeah, I said that right. Claw pores. Can I talk today? It does not call pores. It's fragrance free. Um, it has a hyaluronic acid in it, so it's really good for hydrating. It has three types of ceramides in it which is very essential to keep and maintain a healthy skin barrier and also keep hydration in your body so there's no water loss. 
Um, I also wrote other things down like this. Um, it has low pH level. Um, it is, like I said, it's affordable and easily accessible. It is also good for dry skin, eczema skin, itchy skin, and psoriasis, and rosea. So any, or rosea, is it rosea or rosea? You can correct me. I'm still going to post this video if it's wrong. I know what it is. I've seen people with that skin type, um, but it's actually good for that as well. So it's, it's just a, my go-to cleanser. And... The packaging i just love the packaging very simple very clean pump love it can't get enough of it this is my fa my favorite cleanser hands down so yeah so that's it so i wanted to keep this video very simple uh, i will link everything in the description box down below with my favorite cleansers for this video um and thank you so much for tuning in um i'm going to post other videos throughout the week and also keep this you know skincare series coming Thank you. I love you guys and thank you guys for watching and I see you next time. Deuces.